Mr. Patterson, thank, oh, thank you for doing this this morning, and we're going to have just a conversation this afternoon. Or this, I guess it's this morning, and we want to hear your story as you want to tell it. Today is Thursday, December the 6th, 2018, and we're here at the Oaks at Post Road in Cumming, Georgia. My name is Frank Luton, and I'm a volunteer at the Atlanta History Center. And you also have Sue Verhoff, yeah. who is the Director of Oral History and Genealogy at the Atlanta History Center in the room with us. And Mr. Dick Franklin, who is your friend uh, in the room with us this morning. We're here today to record the oral history of Mr. Gordon Lee Pat Patterson who served in the U.S. Navy during World War II on the USS Wicks DD-578 and afterwards at the Atlanta Naval Air Station here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Mr. Patterson's oral history is being recorded for the Atlanta History Center's Veteran History Project in partnership with the Library of Congress. We're certainly honored to have you with us this morning Mr. Patterson, and thank you for doing this and participating in the project. Mm -hmm. If at any time you want to take a break or, or drink some water or anything, you just say so. Okay. There are no topics or things or events that are taboo. You can say anything you want about anything. Just be yourself and use whatever words, phrases, or language that you want to use. So we'll start by, I want you to tell, state your full name and your date of birth and place of birth, and then talk about your growing up years. Yeah. Full name, where you were born, no. your birthday, and talk about growing up. Okay. That's where we start. That's where we want to start. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. Yeah. My name is Gordon Lee Patterson. I was born the uh, 12th of August, 1925. That makes me about 93 years old. Yeah. That's what I am today. And uh, I grew up on a little farm there in, uh, called Brownstown, Illinois. It's just a little old bird. And uh, uh, I went to school. Uh, uh, they had no schools then out, out of the country up to, uh, through the eighth grade. And then you went into high school in town, a little town, Brownstown. So I did that, and uh, in my, uh, I think it was in my third year in junior in high school, I'm gonna join the Navy. My what? brother was in. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the biggest reason. Uh, and he's a lot smarter than I was anyway. He's a master chief when he got out. He was, uh, that's my brother I'm talking What was your brother's name? Dean, D-E-A-N, Dean Dewar Dean Patterson. Okay. And uh, he was a loner, sort of. He was a good guy, don't get me wrong, but he liked to be by himself a lot. Him. And or I was just the opposite. And I like to be around people, you know, and I like it. But when he was younger, he, he, he used to he used to box. Hmm. Yeah, he, he he got in that boxing business, or different uh, schools and stuff like that. You know? Did he teach you some, how to box? Huh? Did he teach you how to box? No, I don't want no <laughs> part of that. After seeing him, black eyes and bloody noses, I don't know what to take that. Like. And uh, the only thing that ever happened to me that I, I didn't like was uh, 
I always get to number three in the family, see? When we was young, we would uh, take baths. We'd put a big tub of water out there in the morning, and then that evening, when it got warm up, you jump in that water. And my mom would be right there with the soap, pingy, big bar of it, scrubbing you down. And uh, you go by have there, there was eight of us, I think, kids. And I, 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 I fell on number three. I was pretty lucky. That, but then I got sisters and brothers. My brother's still living. He's, he's, he's about 80, 80, I guess, about that. But he's a mama's boy. She was left home, as he thinks she did anyway. He's going to take care of the kid, my mom and dad, you know, my brother, younger brother. So he did, and he's still out there. Of course, my f mother and dad has been gone for years, but he's still out there, lives in the schoolhouse. Well, we went to school, I, I, uh, grade school, you know, just a big building. You know, it had about uh, 18 kids in there, different grades of them, you know, and one teacher. And the biggest thrill is, if we didn't like the teacher, we'd lock him out. <laughs> and I was the instigator in that, and uh, I got really burnt for that. Uh, locking the teacher out. So he went on home. He says, I'll get you later. And he did. <laughs> he he made me do things that other the kid didn't do. <laughs> so I, I got through that all right. And I said, I don't think I'd better do that again. Uh, I'd give that up for Lent. And I went on to see... Uh, so I said, I think I'll join the Navy. My brother was in, you know. So I'll, I'll do that. So he joined the Navy and he gets to go through boot camp at, uh, let's see, where was that? Uh, somewhere in Texas. I don't remember where it was. Some base down there, I don't know. He went through uh, boots down there. Then when he gets out, he. Uh, I kind of forget what he did in there. Uh, anyway, he got to he got to uh, work for Boeing, big outfit, you know, and that's what he did when he got out and when he, and when he went to California, he was out there, and in the meantime, he got sick and died. Hmm. And he said. Uh, 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 Let's see. It's on the side here. Where you, where you, uh, the appendix? Huh? Appendix? No. No. Worse than that. I mean, it, it take you. It took my sister and her too. My sister and him both were, both got the same thing. Only well, he went first, and it was my sister went mm -hmm. second. And I says, I ain't gonna do. I ain't gonna do something right. Or I'm gonna do it right. Well, anyway, I I, uh, I went in the Navy and I went through boot camp at Great, Lake, Great Lakes. Uh, I was up there about, uh, they cut it short back then, uh, nine weeks or something like that. Mm -hmm. But what what year, what month and year did you join the Navy? Yeah. How, how, has Had World War II begun when you joined the Navy? Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you remember what, what year that was? Well, the, what, what, what year? What year? 19, uh, let's see, 42. 42, okay. Yeah. All right. So I just a young one, just 17, really. Uh-huh, okay. And uh, I went in there, and uh, and I got to see him, and I was in there, but I got punished for it. Oh, yeah. I, what happened was, he was on a little island out there, and I was aboard this ship, the Wilkes. The, the Wilkes? Yeah. Uh-huh. And we was anchored out there. 
And I knew he was there because I just got a mail, a letter from him the day before. So I knew he was in there. So I got permission to go over to see him. I, I went and saw the, everybody from the seaman up to the captain to get, in, to get to see him. Oh, I went to there. I would never do it again. Anyway, I got in there and then I went over there. And that night, it was also just nice sitting up there in uh, uh, moonlight on a little island, you know, where he's at. And I just got to stay there a little bit, and, and, I, and he says, oh, I'll get the tower here, and we'll tell them when you, uh, when you get coming home, or, you know. Well, anyway, that didn't materialize. There was nobody here to say anything about me. Somebody drops the ball, and they say, just forget about it, see? And I paid for it. <laughs> okay. I spent in the brig. A uh, honest joke that turned into something like that, you know. But it did. And I said to myself, I ain't gonna do that again. And I didn't. And uh, I was bored that, let's just get back just weeks here now. Yeah, all right. When, uh, so you were at Great Lakes uh, for basic training. Yeah. And then how did, how did you get to the Wicks? Did you uh, choose well, them? Let's see. They had outgoing units. One of your uh, drafts was called. You'd go aboard that ship. They, they just, uh, needed some men, you know. Well, they needed the. I guess they needed me. I mean, well, they. I mean, the way I laid around in 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 uh, barracks there waiting for orders. That's worse than everything, you know. And uh, finally, I got my orders, and I went to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And I'd never been down there before. Then I got to where I could like it eat. Shrimp. <laughs> 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 I used to get like it, you know, but I got to where I used to. Uh, now you dip it in that sauce, you know. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And, and I like that, you know, but... Uh, from there on, I went to boot. I mean, I went to gunner's school down there. Uh -huh. Two weeks, and they'd pull a target along, you know, and they'd shoot it. We had we had uh, forty millimeters and twenties on the ground, and he they'd fly with those. Uh, uh, had a well, the shoot shoot and fly it on, you know. They follow you behind, and I, I was my time to turn, and I fired, and I cut the the cable in two from there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the first time that ever happened, they said. So they took my name down for that, too. I said, they, they kind of congratulate me, right? And, you know, I, was, I could shoot, so I shot for a while. It was, it was fun, you know. But a lot of that wasn't, uh, oh man, that was a, uh, uh, went aboard this ship, him. Where was the Get ship? Where the was Wicks. the Wilkes? Where was that when you went aboard? Yeah. Him? Now that ship, we, uh, I remember that, uh, Orange, Texas. Oh. That's where it was built. They shipped me and some more guys that was going on that week. And when we got there, they was working on it. And they give us that fire bottle business, keep getting the fire, you know, if there's a welding, you know. And uh, they give us that, uh, you're not supposed to look at that, but there's no way in the world that you ain't gonna glaze it that some way or the other. Oh, I like to went by in there for a while. Hmm. Too much light. So I got that, got through with that. Uh, and I was glad. Yeah, and then let's see, from the weeks, yeah, we had sister ship, if I can remember, uh, the weeks, Sproston, Porter, and, uh, well, maybe, uh, uh, I can't remember that other one. I got it somewhere, but I can't really look at it. 
for them. And, and so yeah. the, the Wilkes was part of the yeah. four. Yeah. Okay. And this was in Orange, yeah. Texas. And uh, the thing that really got to me about the Japanese, now, they don't believe in God. You know that? They don't believe in God. They believe in their emperor. That's what the big mistake is. It took us five years to get rid of them, but we did it. But anyway, uh, I was aboard the USS Wicks, and this dang Japanese pilot dropped the bomb down on us, but he missed us. The shrapnel hit, but you hit the guys. I don't know. I don't think it killed any of them. Just pieces they had to get out. And uh, uh, and one time I can remember this as long as I live. There was a guy, one of my buddies, was aboard ship, and was anchored, or tied, and always tied up the dock, and they checking. Uh, uh, these are uh, depth charges. The fires out there, like somebody throw a big hammer out there, you know. And some of them they roll off the back, big ones, 500 pounder, and the others a hundred and something on them. You drop them off, and of course when they drop them off, they set the depth of it. They know how deep it is. Right. The tower does up there, and they tell we we. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> oh, when them, them things go off, the fish would fly up, God, they were all right there. And one night we was uh, going along, you know, yeah, dance, it's all of a sudden something would hit us, you know. What in the world was that? And you find that there's a whale went across in front of us, and we hit him, <laughs> and then we was pushing him. So we wasn't making no headway hardly. So we would just stop them, backed off, you know, and he swam off. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Things like that in your memory, you know. That, that was a yeah. good thing that happened, I guess. Right. But it didn't happen too good to the fish. <laughs> no. You know, yeah, let's see. Uh, All right, so you were a gunner's mate. Huh? You were a gunner's mate. Yeah. On, okay. And, uh, yeah. And I was a second class. Second class yeah. gunner's mate. So did you uh, tell us about all of the experiences with when the Japanese would attack the ship? Do what? When the Japanese would attack the ship, the kamikazes. Yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, oh. Now, that's hell. That's dead is. And they'll do it in the morning, early, or at night. Yeah, and they, uh, well, like I say, don't, they don't believe in God. And uh, this one guy, this one Japanese, flew around and dropped one, you know. He didn't hit his head off the side, but he just, and you know what he does? He pulls up and goes over there and suicides into a hospital ship. Hmm. That's what kind of guts they got, you know. Okay. Now that, that that was really something. I, that, I couldn't believe that would, could have ever happen, but it did. Did it sink well, the I hospital think, ship? Yeah. Oh. A hospital ship laying it all anchored out there, Red Cross all over it, you know. And this thing dropped a bomb on us and suicides into that. Hmm. He did it for his emperor. Yeah. Do you remember the name of the hospital ship? Uh, I wish I did, but I don't. Okay. Uh, that didn't slip me, but it was a hospital ship. Okay. I'm going to be red cross on it. Yeah. And uh, that was. I think. I think we went over there. A couple of guys did to do something, but we liked that there was nurses aboard that ship. See, you just see pretty women. Mm -hmm. Just to see, you know, I mean, they're still around. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was good too, I like that. And, and, uh, let's see. Uh, 
Is that for me? Oh, uh, we had two monkeys aboard. <laughs> two monkeys. Monkeys. What happened was, the Marines come by one of these big old uh, things that get front end load down or go down. And they, as they went by, they threw them two damn monkeys up on our ship. And you think we didn't have a time with them. We had a little dog on there, a little brown dog, you know, this guy owned it, you know, that. you can bring a pet. I guess the captain knew it, I mean, uh, uh, he was a good captain, though. He, he never met her. That she did something wrong, and uh, you know you done it. He did put it to you, but uh, he, he did overlook a lot of things. Captain Allen. Captain Allen. Yeah, he was the captain of the ship. He's a lieutenant commander. Okay. That's usually about the the officer, the highest officer on a destroyer would be a lieutenant commander. Yeah, and then you could get a commander or two, I guess. Mm -hmm. but, uh, now these little incidents, you know, them little 90 day wonders we was talking about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you gotta be initiated, see? Tell me about that. Yep. Now, I gotta be, somewhere in my room where I crossed the equator, you know. And this little incident we had, nobody liked him, you know. He, so we put him on a peacoat and put him up on top of a gun mountain all day long. He said, if the, that's, he can't do nothing because the, that's the rules of the crossing the equator. Right. I got a certificate, you know, so, you know, got my rank on there. And I, I think I was seaman first to believe him, I know, of course, that. But uh, I got that in my uh, room all fixed up, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, and did, did a kamikaze plane ever hit the Wilkes? Did you ever experience a kamikaze plane crashing into the Wilkes? Yeah. Talk, talk about that. The, the one that tried on us dropped that bomb and then he went over and I don't understand why he just went over there and, and went into that hospital ship. Oh, okay. Suicide in it, see? I could never figure that out. Okay. Well, talk talk a little bit more about about what year was this when all this happened? Forty two. What about what year was this? Forty two, forty three, forty four. Oh, age. No, the the what year? Nineteen forty two, forty three. Nineteen forty two. That's when you went in. Yeah. Okay. And then I got aboard that ship too, right after that. Oh, right after that. Yeah. Okay. And then I got aboard that and. Uh, mm -hmm. Where were you when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor? Uh, I was. That would be oh, de I was, I December in, 1941 when that happened. Yeah. Well, okay. I was in 42, you see. I didn't okay. get in time. Do you remember your your family talking about the Japanese? Tell tell me a and little I bit about that. My brother was in, see. Uh huh. And my mom, she'd walk the floor every night. You know, one wondered about him, you know. And uh, he's pretty sharp. He, he, was, he was pretty sharp. To, he's a loner. Right. He kept everything up here. But he, did, he was good and smart and, you know, and stuff like that. For I was you know, just getting by. And, uh, the family is seen. I'll get back to the family. Okay. Uh, I got to uh, see three sisters, and I had two brothers. Yeah, and my brother, the oldest one, he 
He died with the pancreas. Pancreas. Pancreatic. Pancreas. Mm -hmm. And so did my older sister. Mm. And I says to myself, I says, self, I can't handle this. I, I got to do something, you know. I, so uh, the thing I did, I just put, uh, took, uh, I play music. And nothing any better than music soothes the soul. Okay. And I played the harmonica. I played it for years. Did you play it on board ship? Yeah. And there's another guy on there had a trumpet. Me and him play. That's on the two. <laughs> and we had a had a barber on there. He was a just a regular guy. I think he was a second class something. I don't remember what he was. He cut hair, you know, and uh, and then especially uh, 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 also did uh, Allen was his name, uh, Lieutenant Commander. I think he was Lieutenant oh, Commander. He was the Allen. captain of the Wilkes. Yeah, he was a good one. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, he uh, uh, he wasn't real hard on you or anything like that. Just a regular guy, you know. Yeah. Well, was was the Wilkes the only ship you were on? Wicks. Was what? Wicks. 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 Was the Wicks the only ship you were on? Yeah, that's the only ship that I was on. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> okay. I, I, I notice you're wearing a P-O-W-M-I-A patch. Uh, were you a P-O-W, prisoner of war? That? No, 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 on your shirt. Oh, that? Yeah. That's part of it. That's part of the uniform. That's it. Uh, see, you got this spot right. over okay. here. And anybody that, it's got the, this is really the dress uniform. Okay. So if we go on inspection, I'd have to wear this for to get on. Okay. And, it, it, and, and it, it's got, let's see, it's got your raid over here somewhere on. This don't have it. Okay. You got your, if he was a, Second class, he'd be just two stripes or and all that. Okay. Do First you, class. And do you remember where you were when uh, uh, they dropped the bombs on Japan? Were you still on the wicks? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember anything about that? I can remember. What do you think but about I that? Was, I think I was out of the Navy then. I think. Okay. I can't remember that one. Okay. Maybe I can find it here somewhere. No. Do Do you Let's have see. Do you have pictures of of the wicks in yeah. here? Can we Can you show them to us? Here's one right here. That's the whole story of it. Okay, just you just hold that up. Just hold that up right here, so we can put your face with the wicks. Yeah. Put that right there. That's oh, that's excellent. Excellent. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. That okay? That's for us. Uh, fine. Let's see. I had an accident one morning. I will forget the. There's a guy. We was we was tied. I think we was in New Orleans. We was on, tied up to the dock there, yeah? and this guy was leaning up against a uh, uh, one of those uh, deck charges, just leaning there, you know. And they, every morning they checked the uh, circuit breakers on them, and this guy was leaning again, it, and they. Check the circuit breaker, and my, oh man, it ripped his ribs clear open here. And, uh, that, that, that's all that is, is Lord, what's a mean? accident. Yep, and they, and they happen. They sure do. What else do you have in there that you might want to show the camera? You what? What else do you have in there that you want to hold up and uh, show and show us? Anything? Uh, 
Well, well, I got that piece of Japanese plane there. And let's see, what else? Oh, this, yes, yes. This has got a lot of info in here, a lot of it. There it sits there. That's up in uh, Aleutian Islands. Yes, that's which. There they are. And you think it ain't cold up there? Ooh. <laughs> From there, they sent us down in the Philippines. And they, yeah. What do you remember about the Philippines? Well, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I can remember uh, that death march. Mm hmm. Baton death march. Uh huh. We went by there. You went by there? Yeah. You weren't in there? No. Okay. We went by there. Because that happened a little for us, you see. But I, I can still, I got pictures of that here somewhere. Uh, maybe. This guy here is outstanding. That drew these pictures. I just can't understand how he did. He could see it, and then when he go down at night, he draw it. Uh, now he drew all these here, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. And uh, do any of those pictures bring back any memories that you would like to oh, talk yeah, about? Oh yeah, yeah. Tell us what you remember it, about it, those pictures. There for a long time, my boy, you see them things coming in at me. Suicide plane. Wasn't nothing you do about it when they got past you. Now there's Corregidor. That's an island. And that thing was loaded down with Japanese that had guns in there. Like a, a railroad track, you know. They, they come up, fire out, and back they go back in. Well, we put a stop to that. Every time I want to come up there, we blow him out from the sea out here. And I guess we got it's got seven of them. Mm -hmm. We got rid of them, and they shooting right at us, boy. That was bad. Let's see. All these pictures this guy drew. Now that took something to do. He was great. His name C. W. Smith, and he's from Chicago. So I said, I think I'll go find him. You know how many Smiths in Chicago? <laughs> 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 I, I spent a day doing. I gotta give up. I was like, well, even find one guy that didn't that name, but it wasn't him though. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh well. Do you remember what happened to the uh, Wicks after you left the Philippines? Yeah. What where did you go from there? Do you uh, remember? Uh, Philippines. See, we went to Philippines. And I can remember <clears throat> that was good down there. These little uh, Filipino girls had them boats, you know, and they got a boat and something way out there. They got another little two before something goes along the front of them, you know, keeps them from tipping, you know. And then little, little Japanese, we over to the hardship and we stop. And you know what they wanted? Cigarettes. Little girls and uh, mattress uh, uh, sheets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we give them some, you know, uh, help them out, you know, so sorry. But, and we was down there one little, one island, Bougainville, and this. Uh, This little guy was a, we saw pennies out there. He, he dived down in there. 
No, no, nothing on, nothing on him. You know. he, he was dark, a little darker. We'd throw panties at that, and they'd dive down and put them in their mouths, you know. And come up and, and go back down and get some more, you know. Uh, we would uh, sort of thought was good to see him do that, you know. But I didn't know whether we wanted to have him drowned or not, but they didn't, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, Bougainville, uh, yeah, okay, Bougainville. It's a little lot. Uh, my brother was out there. Uh, off, uh, he was working on aircraft carriers, not working on engines. On, on they'd fly him into this little island, you know, and uh, they'd overhaul them there and, and ship them back out. So I got to see my brother, my, my brother on a. When I went over there, but I got hung for it. I didn't get home in time. I didn't get back in time. So, did you ever get to the Japanese mainland, like after the surrender? No. You never got there. So, where where did the Wicks go after? Did it come back to yeah. the U.S.? Yeah. Uh huh. You remember that? Remember what? What did you think when you were when you were coming back to this country? Yeah. After the war. Oh, yeah. Was the war over with by the yeah. time you came back? Yeah. yeah. Tell I'll, I'll tell you the worst thing. It was, uh, San Francisco is a, a home port. And when you get aboard that and you know there's a war on and you're going in it and you look and look and look and then finally she disappears, you know. You're out of your own one out in the ocean. Nothing but water. More water. I mean, a lot of water. <laughs> uh, it's uh, some some some. Uh, we didn't have about, about two guys that got sick all the time, you know. And they they had some kind. They gave them some kind of pills. They finally, but. Uh, and we had a little canteen, a little place where you could buy candy bars and shaving lotion and stuff for you, you know, with soap. And uh, it could, uh, they'd give you five dollars if you had a whole month. Mm -hmm. You get you get a bar of soap, and I never will forget. I got that lava. <laughs> that was pretty good, you know. It's, it got sand in it or something, you know. <laughs> But uh, I, I, a lot of that was a, not not a lot of it, but uh, some of it was joy. Uh, the, the Japanese is, were, were, were odd people. They were, I don't care. I don't hate nobody, but but they. Uh, think that when they do that suicide stuff, that was the little emperor. They they didn't uh, we didn't like that like that. You know that's not right. But anyway, they kept doing it and doing it. We finally the war got over with, and uh, then I got back in. Uh, uh, Let's see. Wage grade. What's the, what do they call that? Wage grade. There was a petty officer. No, that's a that wage grade. That's a yeah, it's petty officer. But uh, uh, I can't think of. A, is it? You were a petty officer, first class. Yeah. Was that the highest rank? That you? Oh no! I no! I just got second class. Oh, you got second class. Okay. Uh, my brother made master chief. Ooh. And I think he was probably about the first chief that made that in the navy. Oh. Ah. Now he was a loner. My brother was. He was uh, hard to talk to. He always liked to be by himself or something. Mm -hmm. And when he did something, 
it was right. He could whittle stuff out, you know, and make stuff out. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't do nothing, you know. Uh, when you came back, uh, d did you stay in the Navy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and what did you do when you came back? I went to these Naval Air Stations, like at Landing. Uh huh. And at, 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 at first, I went up at, at Chicago. Uh, they, uh, uh, what is it? I was up there about 10 years, I think. Ah. In Chicago, working on engines. Uh, what we do is get, get these big uh, reciprocating engines, big cylinders, you know, big tanks that, that come in big. Uh, uh, you have to air them up. Air them up, and it's got bolts about that far away around, you know. And you got to get them things where they don't leak. You got to put some stuff in there. It, it's got some rubber, but sometimes you got to take it out and put some new rubber in. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was doing, you know, getting them things ready to at the Naval Air Station, like Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I worked there for a mm -hmm. long time. I don't remember how long. Mm -hmm. Then I got out and uh, let's see. Then I got out and uh, I worked for civil service. What did you do it with civil service? Same thing as doing in the navy. <laughs> yeah. Only I could wear uh, whatever I wanted to wear, you know, and mm -hmm. the uniform. Mm -hmm. I did that for ten years, and finally I retired out mm -hmm. of that. And here did, I said. Did you go back to your family after the war was over and visit with them? Any? Uh, you know, were they happy to see you? No. No. <laughs> uh, the family, well, they had, uh, let's see, had, I went to school, in grade school, one building, one teacher, and uh, there was about 18 kids, like that, each grade, you know. And and he'd teach her who she is. I like the lady teacher better. Because, uh, well, <laughs> the lady teacher, I did a trick on her. I thought it was a trick. I got a whipping, though. <laughs> and in her chair, where she sits down, I got some... Uh, uh, poke berries, you know, mm -hmm. and put them in her seat and she sit down on them, you know. And that was a mistake. And <laughs> boy, I got two weapons for that. <laughs> one from her and one from mom and dad. I didn't do that no more. <laughs> I saw her on a little, little devil, but I, I just I like to go out and I, have fun, you know. And I got uh, when I uh, when I uh, could afford it, I bought my automobile. Okay. Now I thought that was the greatest thing it was. It was a a thirty two Ford. And this was after you got out of the. Uh, this is after you come back. Thirty two. No, forty two. Forty two Ford. Ford. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now that was something, and that was the best car I ever had. You know what? It had, it had gas heater in there. And when you get in there, that thing heat up right now. I like that, yeah. And uh, oh, I had it. For, I, I got a Chevy before that, and I, I said that thing mm -hmm. would blew up on me. I said I'm not buy one of them. So I've bought a Ford ever since. And I've had good luck with them. Henry did me good. And, and you came back here and joined the VFW? Yep. Why yep. did you do that? I, I am the oldest in the VFW up here. Okay, do you still go to the meetings? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have we have meetings every uh, a lot of times they come and get me, sometimes they don't. So uh, I don't want to, you know, push them. We got a, a nice place up there, 
it's up there by, uh, you know, I don't know what you do, you know where the, uh, a big, they got, uh, let's see, music up on the hill, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. saw all kinds of music stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, let's see, I get my harmonica free. This one boy in there, her her son that owns the place, he gives them to me. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get one. Yeah. Let me see your harmonica. Huh? Pull that out. Yeah. All right. And this is what you did on board ship to yeah. entertain your your sailor buddies, right? Yeah. See you. Play us a tune. That was the blue eyes crying in the rain. Oh, I could recognize that. And that song been played by more people than any animal. Crying in the rain. Blue eyes crying in, in the, the rain. rain. Oh, Willie Nelson <laughs> it was uh, good about playing that one. Let's see, Mr. Franklin, do you have anything you would like to ask uh, Mr. Patterson yeah, to, to talk about? Three things, Pat. Could you get in your book and hold up the pictures that Seaman Smith drew? Could you hold them up for the camera? The, your, your pictures in your book. Can you open it up and show the pictures that he drew during the war? In your book. What is it? In your book. In this book here? Uh huh. I can find out what that is. I don't yeah, show, show, show <laughs> the, the pictures that he drew. They're in the back. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. Hold, it up for the Hold it up for the camera here. Oh. Let me get a good picture. Okay. This is a book. This guy drew all these pictures. And hold it up sideways so we can see yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, this way. Uh, like. No, the other way. Just keep moving it. <laughs> <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep, keep doing it. Let's see what that is. Oh, yeah. That mines out there. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Hold it up like this. There okay. we go. Okay. Yeah. Can that look all right? Yeah. That's great. That's great. And he drew them after the battles. Yeah. He would remember the battles Ready? and drew the pictures. The one other thing I want to show you in here. I think she's in. This guy drew these. I mean, mm -hmm. I hold, hold that up like we did the before. Uh, there you go. Oops. Yeah, we got it. There you go. Is that all right out there? Yeah, that, oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, my goodness. So you saw that when you were on the ship. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the other thing, can you show him the kamikaze piece of the plane in your briefcase? The kamikaze piece in your briefcase. Oh, there, yeah, right. Yeah, sure. hold that up. Yeah. Hold that up. Take it out. Oh. He can't take it out. If you can, if you're not, I'll do that for you. Oh, it's heavy. That's okay. That, that stays there. Oh, that stays in there. Yeah. Just hold the briefcase. Lift that up. I bet that right there. Well, let's see. Let the thing fall out here in a minute. Yep. Okay, you got it? Yep. Oops. Whoops. That's okay. We can take a picture. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
And tell us how you got yeah. that. Tell us how you got that piece. How did, how did you get that piece of plane? That piece yeah. plane there? Yeah. It blew up. A uh, Japanese plane blew up. It's a suicide into us. Mm -hmm. He gets out there and he's here he comes and um, we pop it to him and the piece of flew the board ship. Well, did that land near you? Yep. That's a Japanese plane right there. Oh. And tell a little bit about the five inch guns that you shot. How many how many rounds could you shoot in a minute? The what? The five inch guns that you were in. How many rounds a minute? Oh. The big guns? The big guns. A 24. A, a, a minute. That's a big 5 inch 38. And then you have these uh, 40 millimeter twins. Now, them the little jewels that got them. Them they come in uh, 5 to uh, 5 shells. All stacked up on your table, drop them down in there, and they fire them in. Now, how many people were in that uh, in that gun? Huh? How many people were in there shooting the guns? In the guns? Yeah. How many were? In yeah, the on the five inch, you'd have uh, see five in there. Five in there. And then you got some down below uh, the deck down below where all the ammunition is. They they got to bring that up, and they. And they when they get it up there, the, the what's his name, uh, first loader, he'll pull that powder in first. Powder's about that long. It, it's a, uh, you got cork on the end of it. You put the powder in first, then you put the projector in. It's about that long. And it's the one that does the damage, the projector. And, uh, and in, uh, in your, Gun barrel, they got a groove. So when they fire, they spin. And uh, one time I remember we was out there in the battle wagon. They, they, they were, the battle wagons is gone now. Battleships, they're worthless. The cruisers is the one that is the one that's got the stuff on them now. Missiles. Mm -hmm. I mean, they'd shoot one from San Francisco to New York, you know, if they had to. You know, let's get, get thinking about that, you know. And what if a damn idiot got in there and didn't send one off from New York or, or something, or vice versa? I think I'd just start trying right now, you know. Yeah. So, a couple more anyway. Questions, Pat. Uh, how many children do you have? Huh? How many children did you have? How many children? How many children do you children? have? Children? I got one boy, one son, and I'm proud of him. He's a, uh, yeah, auntie. He's the one, he, he's in there, uh, I'll get that, he's, he's in Texas, uh, San Antonio, he's there. Okay. And he's got him a, a job there. He's a sharp kid, not in front of me, but he, 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 he's he been to every college you can think of, you know. He likes to get that education. And he's got it, and he's got a wife and two two boys. Good. <clears throat> and the two boys, one of them the uh, insurance man, and the other, he's, he's, he's like me. He's still looking for a job. <laughs> 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 no, I, I think he's a, you know, he's in San Antonio down there, you know, and the Mexicans, Excuse me. They're uh, trying to get a little closer, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's in there? Our president's doing that now. Mm -hmm. Letting them uh, Mexicans get in now. Right? 
And, and Pat, what uh, what what branch of service was your son in? That's what. What well, what branch of service was your son in? Oh, he was Air Force. And what was his rank? He was an officer. He, he had what's the maybe a colonel? I don't know. Oh, colonel, general? Could yeah. he, could it be a general? Yeah. No, he he didn't like that. I guess he got out and. And he retired from the yeah. Air Force. Yeah, he's got a better job now. I forgot what he did now. He, and he's a professor. A and T, isn't he? Is he a professor? Yeah. Where does he teach? Blood. 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 That's right. Okay. That's what he does. I got his card here somewhere, but I ain't gonna use it. I'd <laughs> okay. like to take my two weeks to find it. <laughs> okay. Well, what else, Sue, what do question now? would you like to ask? Mr. Patterson, I just got one question yes, for you. Yes, ma'am. When you think back on being on the wicks out there in the ocean and you got people shooting at you, what memory is clearest for you? Is there an incident, something that happened on the ship that you can remember so clearly? You no. Know, uh, we always, when you're at sea, you got these big guns, you know, five in. And at night, when the war was on, uh, we'd have a, a gun mount, all, all, you know, mounted. And we'd, we'd take shifts, four hour shifts, you yeah. Boy, that got old, old, old. Four hours and, you, and then you go back and sleep and four hours more. And yeah, it got old. <laughs> People didn't realize how bad but we was suffering like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I said to myself, I said, self, I'm going to get out of this thing in the Navy and here I am. <laughs> okay. But it did me good. It did. I wouldn't trade that for nothing, you know. No. I got, I got a hollow. Used to go have a uh, witch. Used to have a ship. I don't have reunions until everybody get old like me and they can't make a trip no more. Right. So here I sit talking to these guys, as the Yankee said. <laughs> down here we say use guys. Uh, up there we say you all. Down here. Uh huh. Use guys. Okay. Use guys. And a Bostonite, you know, uh -huh, okay. I'd said macaw, and had a degree, macaw, and what else is Bostonite, you know. Well, you know, your yeah. Navy experience taught you to be around a lot of different people yeah. from a lot of places. Yeah. Yeah? Well, I've been in Boston, and that's a good town. Right? Big old place, too, right? mm -hmm. I tell you. Now, my favorite was Chicago. They always, uh, what is it on the, the color of the river? On green. Green. What day is it? St. Patrick's Day. That's a boy. Day. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's a good day. You know, I used to cook. I get this here meat, uh, uh, look like the side of a hog or something. Put a simmer, oh, for five hours, you know, just simmer. And then you take it and slice it out. Boy, is that good. It's a side of a pig, I guess. I don't know. Well, you used to have that old dog when, when, when my wife was living and stuff. Huh? But uh, she left me, so she died, you know. I'm going to tell you a story about that. Okay. We were walking to, we got out of the car and we were walking to Engel's store. She's right behind me. I'm walking along there and she says, I can't see. I turn around and there she is laying down, dead. Hmm. See what hemorrhage. That's, uh, that, 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 I didn't like it too. So I'm 
single guy. I ain't married no more. Not at 99 years old. <laughs> 93, <laughs> you put it that way. So you don't have any girlfriends around here? No, that I know of. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I can't, I can't do, I ain't got no car. I ain't got no money. So what would I do with a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, any, any other questions? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, you. You, you told us some fantastic stories, and we appreciate it. Well, I got thank a lot you for your service. Else. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank, thank you very so much. much. Yeah. All right.